For years, women have fought hard to ensure that our generation had an equal place in the workforce. And to all those women, we just want to say, Thank you. But also, F*** you. I am so tired. Being a working woman sucks balls. I work for a women's rights NGO. And every day, I get letters from little girls saying, Help me. I need an education. And I'm like, No, you don't. I had an education. You know what I need now? A nap. In my mother's day, they used to say that a woman's place was in the kitchen. And to that I say, why did that change? I work a 50-hour week in an architecture firm designing kitchens. And ironically, I can't find one night to cook a meal of my own. If I have to eat one more Tesco ready meal, I will lose it. My mother raised me to be an independent woman. I don't want to do that. I want to marry a rich banker and go to brunch. I tried to find him on Tinder, Happen, Hot Hug, Soul Search. I made those last two up. No, literally. I made them. I worked for a tech startup. And now, <laughs> now I'm a high earner. At the end of every date, I'm expected to. To. She's trying to say split the bill. I bought a slow cooker four years ago and I have never had the chance to use it. There was a time when women could just go to the bank and take money out. We didn't have to work for it. We could just have it. All for the small fee of sex with their husbands once a month. So this International Women's Day, take a step in the right direction. Backwards. No, this steps there. Not a good idea. Brought to you by the Women Against Tiredness Society.